products, some newcomers. The biophysical aspects of the ultrasound examination. The ultrasound examination is one of the dominant modality used since decades. And uh, why it is being used for so long? Because of some reasons. One thing is it is safe, non-invasive diagnostic modality. Second thing is that it is cost-effective to and the diagnostic yield of the ultrasound is maximum. Many routine ailments you can diagnose quite conveniently, conveniently at ultrasound examination on the bedside of the patients. Now, base is a pulse of energy which carries energy away from the central transmitter. The place where from where the waves are generated, electrical, the energy is transmitted from that place to the other medium. And there are two types of waves. One is the electromagnetic waves and the second is the mechanical waves. Electromagnetic waves they are also labeled as transverse waves and these travel from one place to other without requiring a medium in between. It means that they can propagate even through a vacuum, like radio waves, X-rays and the light waves. The mechanical waves, they are also called the longitudinal waves and they require a medium for their propagation from one place to the others. And the example of the mechanical waves are the water waves as well as the sound waves. Now what are the sound waves? All those waves which we can hear with our ears, they are the sound waves. And the frequency of the sound waves is between 20 to 20,000 hertz. All those waves which have the frequency less than 20, they are the infrasound waves. And those with frequency more than 20,000, they are the ultrasound waves. So our wave is a pulse of energy which can so They are the mechanical waves which require a medium for their propagations and the frequency of the sound waves. Uh, frequency of the sound wave is between 20 to 20,000 hertz and that of the ultrasound waves that is more than the 20,000 hertz. The various characteristic features of the ultrasound waves, ultrasound beam is a non-ionizing longitudinal waves in which the signals they are recorded in the reflection mode rather than in the transmission mode as of electromagnetic waves such as X. The ultrasound transducers that generate the ultrasound waves which enter into the body get reflected from the various body tissues and uh, we uh, make the picture by means of the reflection of the ultrasound waves so the ultrasound waves they are not ionizing lungs of waves in which the signal they are recorded in reflection mode rather than in transmission mode like X-rays. And sound frequencies in the diagnostic equipments that mean between 2 MHz to 50 MHz. Normally all the waves with frequency more than 20,000 Hz they are labeled as the ultrasound waves. But in our instruments, the sound waves which are being used, they are the high frequency sound waves. Their frequency is between 2 megahertz to 15 megahertz. Mega means million cycles per second. So the equipments which we use, they have the frequency between 2 to 15 megahertz. So the piezoelectrical effect is the cornerstone of the diagnostic ultrasound process. All ultrasound transducers possess piezoelectrical properties which permit them to generate as well as the detect the ultrasound waves. Now the piezoelectrical crystals are there in the transducers or the group of the ultrasound machines. And these are of two types. One are those which are occurring by nature, that is naturally occurring crystals. They have the natural 
uh, capabilities of producing the ultrasound wave as well as by detecting the ultrasound to produce the glyphs. And these are called the naturally occurring crystals. Example is the quartz crystals. But these days, our modern efficient transducers, they are grown in a manufacturing process and these are known as the synthetic crystals. Synthetic crystals, they are also available as the ceramic crystals. So the piezoelectric crystals are of two types, either they are naturally occurring crystals, an example is the quartz crystal, or they are synthetically produced, then synthetically produced uh, piezoelectric crystals, they are labeled as the ceramic crystals. Now how ultrasound waves they are produced by these piezoelectrical crystals? Whenever electrical current strikes the crystals, they are, electro, uh, they are electronically stimulated and they produce ultrasound waves by means of their vibrations. And when the electrical, when the ultrasound waves